Okay. Well, I, I see your hands. You're kind of holding it up a little bit too high, no, but still. No, I got to right. trace that. You see that? Okay. Can no. I, Let me see it. Trace it before you, you go it? live. It's kind of late now. We're live, right? Wait, you're live okay. now? Yeah, 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 yeah you're, you're live. live. The whole thing? You want to trace? Yeah. The hell? Look, I need you to go out to my car before you go and bring me my sanitizer. Nothing going on here. Okay, so welcome to uh, first episode of Floss Tube here for Mommy Rambo and uh, daughter. Um, it's not going to be like any Floss Tube you've probably ever seen because this is my first time with the punch needle and I don't know what I'm doing. I've done punch needle before. Okay. But I guess like my content, my actual like cross stitch is like the floss that qualifies for the floss tube. Oh, this doesn't qualify? No, it qualifies for floss tube. Everybody likes crafts. Who makes the qualification? I don't know. I, I, I say to me, I feel like as long as you use something with floss, like it's floss tube. I don't understand why embroidery, like embroidery, like the, can they see this? Yes, they can. Okay. Like, I don't understand why, like, hand embroidery isn't really considered floss tube. It's not? I, would, I mean, I guess, I mean, to me, I think anything that includes embroidery floss should be considered as floss tube, but I don't know, I mean, I guess, like, I don't know, it's like, moms, like, uh, followers who, who, um, who have seen floss tube before, um, like, why is it all cross-stitching? Um, but it, that, not, not to say that, you know, I love, I like, really like cross-stitching, like, uh, but I'm just kind of, kind of curious as to why it's just all about the cross-stitching and not I just don't know who makes the rules. Because, like, nobody, I don't know, I've never seen a community like that. It's, like, not in true crime. They don't say, like, hey, wait a minute, that's actually this and that maybe doesn't qualify for a true crime. I don't know. Like, who, who are they? Floss tube? What if you use dental floss? I don't know, everybody's got their own thing. So this is the punch that came with the kit. And these are the ones that I got um, in that $3 clearance when I bought it with Scooter. Now, did you use this one for your whole project? Yeah, I used that one for the whole project. It okay. has different settings oh, on it. Oh, it has different settings on it, okay. So this is from, again, this um, Ollie Lou Designs, Jessica Oldfield. And you can look at this at uh, Etsy. She's on uh, Ollie Lou by Jess. Okay. Honey, can you make it out for that? Uh, let me see. I think so. Did you put like yellow? Did you put no, yellow? no colors. Right. Oh, it's all right. You don't need to. Oh, I don't need yeah, yeah. yeah. You didn't throw the design out, right? No. Okay. okay so here's what I had. Okay. To do. Can they see this? Absolutely. Okay, so I had to put. You want? Uh, you can jump up there and look and see. Uh, you, I'll, I'll, I'll leave this here. That's all right. I, I trust you. I had to put this on a loop. Right, Let me see. So Mom, go. people are saying hello. Oh. Hello, guys. Hi, guys. I, okay. We all said hello. I, had to I don't put see this. Let's leave it alone, Luke, okay? Yeah, yeah. We got to get down. Don't hey, touch yeah, it, okay? They see it. All right. I had to put this on a Let's loop, go. and then okay. you have yeah, to. Yeah, Mom, trace. they see it good. Okay. You have to trace this. So I started and Jimmy finished. I don't know. It's traced on there. Oh, yeah, and there's the colors. The messed up part yeah, was hers. What? The messed up part is yours. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then what do you need this? <laughs> oh, that's the threader. I'm this is the threader? Yeah. Okay, so now you said I... Okay, but kid, Lou's going to bring me sanitizer. Okay, so now you said I have to do a practice? I think you should practice a little bit so you get the hang of it. Well, how do you practice? So anyway, I just like take some yarn. I mean, she has a whole booklet as to what to do. Um, so you have to spray oh, the thread the needle. Pick the first color of yarn, insert the needle threader. Okay, well, what, okay. Let me see. So you take this, uh -huh. and then this. Yeah. This well, one? you have to take um, what it will figure out what color yarn you want to start with. What is it? Well, it's a practice, right? So yeah. I'm not going to keep the stitch in? I mean, you can just keep the stitch in. If, I, mean, it's well, I don't even know what color this is. What is this called? LB. LB is light blue. All right, but where, where's... Oh, pink. Okay, so this is pink, right? Here. Yeah, well, she has a whole color code on this. Uh, it should be Mom, where's your bleeding in Santa Claus? Because I can only find this one. Yeah, I can't find that. So... Yeah. Okay, huh? Car's taking a 
stay in here. Um, see you guys. Close the main door. Hello. So this is LB's light blue, BB is bright blue, and this is teal. Okay. And how do you thread the needle? So basically, you have to take the you have to take the yarn. Yeah. And then put it into the threader. This is no into yes, the, in the threader. Yeah, into, into the threader. Don't don't take that off. I made the mistake of doing that. Don't take that off. Just just put the yarn through the in, like the, the in the bottom of the threader. Okay. And don't take what off. And uh, then uh, stuff it in there. Which way? Like this? Like you know, just like stuff it in. Like this? Yeah. Stuff it in there. Yeah. He's not stopping in. All right. Well, actually, maybe you're supposed to. Uh, I, I broke mine, so. Oh, great. Um, mm -hmm. I have a, a different way of doing this. Okay. I had to use a pipe cleaner. Um, All right. So, okay, okay. Put the threader in, and then I think you put the yarn in. So I think it's gonna be easy because she knew what she was doing. All right. Okay. So we did. It looks like. Insert the needle threader. Okay. Okay. So scratch that. You insert. This. Mm -hmm. Now she doesn't have it sticking. She has it sticking out only a little bit, and then she sticks this. Everybody probably has no idea. Sticks there. Place the yarn in the threader. What? What is she talking about? She's going the other way. She's going up through here. Oh, she's going up through there. I don't oh, know. Okay. Okay. It has to be because you said that a flag thing on the end. Okay, so, yeah, so the black thing at the end. You did Oh, one. okay, okay, yeah. So then I, then I guess yeah. that thing comes up. Then you put the end of the yarn at the end of the thing. Okay. I promise there will actually be some floss tube content. We will get to the end. Don't worry about it. I'm not worried about the floss tube people. I deal with trolls. Okay. Um, floss tube people can't be bad. Unless they're like the yarn people. All right. There's nothing against the yarn people. Nothing against just, the yarn people. Just that Rhinebeck that people that which it's is push like and shove. that yeah, it's the New York Sheep and Wool Festival where people will just like get really on top of you. Okay. Nothing against the yarn people. Okay, what do we do here? All right, then you take the uh, then you then you, you pull, pull this. Yeah, you pull it up. All right. Okay. All right, that's how so it works. now that's threaded. Okay, okay that was easy. Okay, so then you take the end of the yarn. Now, do and I pull can, this up? Well, you have to pull it up just a little bit. Just a little but, bit? But just a little bit, but you need to put thread the, you need to thread the yarn through that hole. Oh. I need to put this through there? Yeah. I'm afraid. Well, I think you just use your threader yeah, for that. I think I have to, no, I think I just have to cut it with the little scissors that came with the kit, so. Oh, I actually gave you the scissors. Yeah, you didn't get it? Uh, no, I did. I said I do not scissors. I didn't know that I, okay, I got scissors. You didn't buy for the same lady? I know I bought for the same lady. I just omitted the scissors. I would probably use a use threader. threader again. Just use the threader again. It'll be easy. Well, not really, because you're not going to be able. Okay. Now what? All right, then. Now uh, pull this up. Yeah, just pull it up a little bit, but you want a tail. You want a tail? Yeah. Okay, so then there's like different ways that you can do the punch needle. Um, What's this A, B, C, D? Oh, that's the settings. So what do I put in that? Um, it says... I put, I mean, let's see. Da, 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 da. Um, place the punch needle at a B or a C length. What's the difference? Um, it's like the it's like the C. I, I forget. It's like the. Sounds really confidential. Right? I mean, I forgot. I mean, I would just say C. Just do C. Okay. Um, but you. But the thing is, like, there's different sort of types of punch needling. If you look at the photo, if you do it. Um, this is what we're supposed to do. I see that. So this is supposed to be. This pink is supposed to be low yeah. pile, and so what's low pile? Okay, low pile is when you punch from the front. And then if you want the high pile, you punch from the front. No, but I mean, what about the B, C, D? Okay, so you want it, you want it on setting uh, C. 
Well, it's on C. Okay, then that's good. And now what? All right, then just start punching. What do you mean punch? Just start, insert, just start. So you said punch from the front. Well, yeah, punch from the front. This way? Yeah, like that, yeah. Well, well how's they punching over there? It's because... It, you because the loot because to get the loopy pile you punch from the back and then what happens when you punch this through yeah you'll just get a you get you'll just yeah. anywhere anywhere just push it just through. push it through that's it that's it yeah now just, just stab it just just stab in and out what do you mean stab no it came right out yeah no but you'll you have to kind of loosen the thread a little bit the yarn a little bit look I made a hole in that yeah yeah, yeah it's supposed to be like that look it doesn't work. You so, forgot how to do it. No, 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 no. You have to kind of do it from a, from a 45 degree angle. Do you want me to? Oh, there you go. Oh, look, yeah, just be gentle with it. And yep. then what? Okay, Stand then it just stab it back down again. You're, it's like you're coloring with thread. See? Look. Oh, no. Yeah, well, it's all right. That's happened. Oh, now it's all a mess. Yeah, well, just, uh, you know, smooth it over with your hand. Oh, now I don't know what happened. Yeah, it's all right. No, that's perfectly fine. What do you mean? It's, I've got it way too long. Yeah, but I'll just pull the yarn up back through. It's a very forgiving thing. It doesn't feel like that. It feels like I'm ruining everything. No, you're not ruining anything. Trust me, you're not doing that. See, just try to stab at a 45-degree angle. See, you got it nice. Yeah, but I don't enjoy it. This is it's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Don't look too bad. And now I'm not going over my uh, line. Well, you know, you can fill that in. Yeah, but what if you don't have a perfect line? Well, it's all right. So there. I don't even know if I'm doing the right thing. You're doing it right. That's where my pink is supposed to be. Where's my picture? Your picture's right here. How come it's all it's all like too loose? Okay, well, so you can you can always take it out again. Oh, I think that's good. All right, show them what you're doing. All right, so I'm doing. Uh, I think it's called a. What's it called? Um, it's from uh, it's a Scandinavian inspired uh, folk design by Modern Folk Embroidery on Etsy. And I think it's called. Do, 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 do. It's called uh, the. It's. Yeah, the pattern is called the Starnbloma, which means star flower um, in Swedish. So I'm doing this on a 14 count beta. Um, just because I just got into cross stitching, um, I, one of my knitting friends, um, she she was like so inspired by my my embroidery, and I got this embroidery um, from Etsy, um, and um, and I really like it. Like it's like I, you know I um you know it's just like it was my first embroidery ever, um, and I'm, I really like touching it. It's like the nice like different textures and stuff. Um, but then my friend introduced me to cross stitching. And so then I was just like, well, like, I'm just going to put this piece on hiatus for right now. Um, and, uh, yeah. And, ah, I, you know, it's like super funny because I didn't think I'd really like cross stitching that much. Because, so I have a quick question. When yeah. I get to the end here, what do I do? Oh, when you get to the end, uh, I do I go, what do you, I do? You can go back down. Go back this way, just yeah. backwards? Yeah, just backwards. See, you get the hang of it. Yeah. Isn't that, fun? Isn't that really fun? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, at first I was, I was kind of curious whether or not I'd like cross stitching because like, you know, with embroidery, it's just like so vibrant and, um, but I really like the look of cross stitch though. Um, like I think that the first cross stitch, uh, like a uh, project I ever saw, my mom made me a sampler, a baby sampler, um, when I was little, um, that hung in my room. Um, and apparently my grandma cross stitched a lot. Um, but I really like like the like the Scandinavian sort of designs, um, and uh, yeah, no, it's it's really cool kind of seeing um, how my style is evolving. I did make a mistake um, right here, but yeah, no. So it's like I said before, it's a fourteen count uh, Ada. Um, I would like to learn how to move on to linen, um, but I'm still trying to figure that out um, with a DMC C four fifteen. And the, uh, the thread is like this um, really sparkly, like off-white kind of silver. Um, and I got this all at Michael's. It was like my first time at a craft store in a really long I mean, it's like I live in the city, so it's just like I don't really get to go out that much. 
Uh, she lives in the city. She doesn't go out that much. I can't now. Okay. But it's, it's, yeah, I really can't. It doesn't feel like that great. I wish I knew that, but this is, you didn't bring yours up here? No, I'm staying in my room. You seem like this is my bike. No, you're doing it. Right. Uh, it's for a person that is like uniform. I don't like it. Like, it's not uniform to me. Well, yeah, they just gotta practice. Okay, okay, but on well, not practicing, this is supposed to be the final project. Yeah, well, no, I ripped mine out the first time. Oh, good. Yeah, so, so what? You have to practice a little bit. But I don't even know what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to look like the photo. No, if you made the photo, like, you have to just, like, zoom in on this thing. I can't see what the pink looks like. I know. I'm getting frustrated. Did you, did you bring another project just in case you got frustrated? No, but I got really frustrated with uh, Jacob Clark the first time I tried it. No, I wasn't. Yeah. Very used to it. And so with this floss stitch, these people just do this and people just listen to them and they talk about. Yeah, it's nice. But I'd like to do a parrot, like they were just watching this one lady and she's like, oh, I did this on a really lovely silk that I got from. Yeah, some uh, people have that silk on their shoes. So I said, I'd like to say, you know, do a parody of one. Like, here, look what I did. I made this and this is on a 97 cent sampler. I uh, know a fat quarter that I got from Walmart and then have something that looks absolutely hideous. I'd say this is my finished project. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Well, I don't even know. How long did this take you? Um, I, it kind of frustrated me for a good oh, 45 minutes. And it frustrated then, you for 45 minutes? Yeah, that's why I said you had to practice. And then I got the hang of it. I just wish I knew the pile length. Like, I think she could make a better needle. Well, you're doing it for the, you're doing what you're supposed to. You're punching from... Yeah, but how do I know what she should say, what pile like? Do you want me to like punch a little bit to show you? I don't like things that like are not neat, like they don't have good instructions. Like the closer you punch to the fabric, the flatter it's going to be. This is for beginners with Ollie Lou. Oh lady. Okay, so she says flat stitch, punching from the front, punching from the back, loop stitch. The angled portion of the punch tip should face up when punching. Hold punch like you would a pencil. Push in as far as you can go. Pull the end of the yarn back through so there's about an inch of yarn on the underside. See, she, she's telling us a lot of stuff that you left out. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is frustrating. Yeah, like I said, it frustrated me for a good 45 minutes. Important tip tip, make sure the yarn is loose and free of tension. Any tension will cause the yarn to pull out of the cloth. Try to keep the stitch at the length consistent. Play around, oh my gosh, if you mess up, pull out. Oh my goodness, and then you've got to glue it all together? No, you just glue the back to the fabric when you're done with it. I'm sorry if my voice sounds very muffled. I'm wearing a mask because to see my family, I had to ride public transit. So I figure this is just the best way to make sure that nobody gets sick. Oh. Where is this lady? Does she have a YouTube channel? No. I'm 
just so much. Like, how am I going to even go there when this part is on the loop? What? Like, how am I going to fill that in when this is on the loop? So, uh, so that you put it in the, from the back. Who is it? Like, when was this invented? Um, was this know. just invented by some millennial? Or no, something? I think it's been a, a it's it's been a while. It's just a different way of rope hooking. There's it in the back. Okay. Rug hooking. That's what that's what she thinks this is. We had the rug hook kits. Yeah, yeah, that was and they like, were very easy. You put like three strands on. You plug it in. Had a grid. And I really want to know who invented this. It's really nice once you get the hang of it. Would you tell me? Hipsters doing the cross stitch? No, I'm all sorts of people from all sorts of ages do cross. Uh, do, uh, what? Oh, oh, is that doing punchy now? Um, yeah, no, like there's, it's, no, but like, it's, it's, it's like a very old thing. Yeah, a, lot mean, of, like, a lot of younger people are getting into it, yeah. I wonder what brought it to people's attention. You see, I just don't understand. So now I have to go from over here and I've got to go back. Yeah, yeah, you're getting better. Okay, now, 90 Day Fiance, yeah. I watched it. Uh -huh. I feel like I've already seen it. I, I, I know I missed two episodes, and the thing with Colt, I've, I've seen the whole thing. Yeah. So how's that? Um, like, Colt. Uh, no, but I mean, I, I missed two episodes, and I go back and watch it, and it's the same freaking thing. Well, what do you mean it's the same thing? It's the same thing that I watched last time. Um, I don't see any new episodes on the thing. There are new episodes. It, the last one there, it's there, is when she threw the freaking shoe at him. Well, yeah, there's a new episode after she threw the shoe. Are they out of, are they out of Brazil yet? Uh, like, in the last episode, they were flying out of Brazil. And Paul's girlfriend lives, and um, wife lives, in, is from Brazil, too. Yeah. It's very, very different. Yeah, it's a different reason. Yeah. What happened to her? Um, I don't, I just, like, uh, right now, I think she has Pierre. Um, Are you supposed to pull this through and make it tight? Um, like, not really. No? Okay. But you do a lot of space in here. I think that... You, you can fill it in. Let me see how much space you have. I just wish she had made this picture a little bit bigger. Do you think you'll feel, you want to do, start just do like the loopies? Maybe you'll feel better doing the loopies. What do you mean? Like punching from the back for like the C. And I got three in here, I don't know if I have. How are you counting your stitches? I'm just do like I'm just following the pattern. Where's the pattern? Um, you just do like this. I just do the same section over again. Just but you had to count one. one. I had to count this one. And you're just looking at that, and just that must be ridiculous. You no. can't concentrate on anything else. No, I mean like, but like counting, <sighs> like the decoupage is such a forgiving art. Like you could do whatever you want. Diamond? I've got like a mosquito on my hand. Diamond painting? What's diamond painting? So you don't know what the diamond painting no. is? 
We take these little glass beads and they have a little thing that it sticks on and they can even do it, they can get photographs printed into it. Yeah. Like people do now. So I can take a lot of this. What's the other thing is that th that embroidery? Is that what you're finished? No. Huh? Is that your finished? What do you mean finished? Your embroidery. But the, 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 the one from here? Yeah. It's not finished. No, it's not finished. No. That's your first embroidery? My first embroidery. How come it doesn't have a hoop on it? Because I because I use this I'm using my hoop right now. And plus I heard that you're supposed to like keep it off the hoop for a little bit to make the fabric relax. And what are you gonna do with that? I'm probably gonna hang it. Wait, now I don't understand why I have this. I have this tail on the end, and why it's not not going all the way through. It's the tail is sticking up. Right now, I've got the tail sticking up. So I pull the tail there. I hear the mosquitoes. Gosh, this is nuts. I've lost a few pounds already. Please don't eat the pasta. Ollie um, and Lou, I'm not finding this to be very user friendly. I liked it. The two types of main stitches are flat and loop stitches. That see, this is supposed to be flat, I think, and you told me no. No, that's just, if you look at the photo, the pink is supposed to be flat. The C is well, supposed to be Well, that's what I said. Lumpy. I was doing pink and it was flat. Yeah, pink was flat, and the and C you is said no. Yeah, the flat stitches is for the front. Out. No, the flat stitch. I didn't say that. Oh my goodness. No, I said that we were doing the thing right with pink for the I said it was supposed to be nice and tight and you said no. Yeah, no, I said that it's like it doesn't have to be like, you know, it's like the loopy is all going to be more loose than the flat. Matter, you stuck yourself? No, I uh, you jumped. No, I have to pull the uh, the thing through the cutter. Sure about Johnny Depp's oh, gore pigs? Um, I mean, I hear bits and pieces. Would you lie? I mean, I don't know. Mm, she is. So much younger than him. Yeah. 20 years younger than him. Yeah. It looks good, even though I'm going to be charged for that one. Do you know who Lori Gabriel is? No. Really? No. Chad Gabriel? No. You don't know them? I don't know them at all. Megan Boswell? No. Golden State Killer? 
I know they're going to. You watched all the stuff on him? I uh, didn't watch all the stuff on they him. They had all, like, like, days and days of victim statements. Yeah. They just sentenced him. Yeah, I saw that. And then somebody said they did a video of his, him in his cell. Something like that. You're not into true crime anymore. I mean, I don't know. I just like, I mean, I just watched, like, the extent of me in true crime was pretty much watching Investigation Discovery and listening to Chrono. And snapped. <laughs> and snapped. But I don't have cable. You have HBO. I have HBO, yeah. And you have Netflix. Yeah. Okay, well, and you Hulu. Yeah. All right. You watch the Tiger King? Yeah, we watch Tiger King. Watch Mindhunter? No. It's a learning process. No, well, it's not really. It's like a really horrid, hellacious. Maybe like you should just turn Maybe it's movie. not the thing for me. I really liked it. You like it? Okay. Oh. Did you do the same one? No, I, I did Mountain. You did Mountain? Mm -hmm. Oh boy. What? I don't know. I've done oil painting and I wasn't that great. Jeff's painting, I was good at it. I wouldn't say good at oil painting. Maybe you Maybe should be better with me. Luffy. It might just not be for me. Oh no, just try Luffy. No, I gotta do <sighs> You still set it on C? Uh, if I believe Luffy's C. I should have brought my, some felting over. Felting is fun. Yeah, felting is fun. You don't do felting anymore? Though? I mean, I should, I should do more felting. I think after felting those uh, Adventure Time figures, sure. What? After I felt it those adventure time figures for my boyfriend, those were a pretty big undertaking. What did you do with them? Uh, no, they're out of sight. Hmm. Would you be mad if you said I spilled coffee on them and threw them away? I don't think I would be mad if you threw them away. They wouldn't do that. You asked me for a lavender clipping today because you really like the smell of it. You have a What do you mean? He asked you, you're up here. How are you going to get one? Because I uh, left my plants with him. So he asked you if he could clip your lavender? Yeah, because he likes the smell of it. And I said, yeah. He gives me cuttings of his plants all the time. Does he know how to root it? Yeah, he's really a good gardener. Well, is he rooting the lavender? Yeah, I mean, he's, I don't think he's rooting the garden. I don't, I mean, maybe he'll root the lavender. You're having luck with lavender? Yeah, I mean, usually, it's, not, it's not flowering, though. Mine usually does. No, not that. Patchouli, I have like really good luck with. It's growing like it's going to be going on its second year inside the house. Yeah, it's, it's not flowering, but I hear that sometimes it needs a year to flower. My friend said that hers wasn't flowering for the first year she had it. The lady at the, um, where's that place? Fort Delaware told me she just had nobody was having luck with lavender up here. What have, what's wrong with your lavender? Does it flower? I don't even have lavender this year. I couldn't even find it. Did you see my cold paper? Yeah, I saw my cold paper. Did he have stuff on his plants? I mean, stuff. Peppers and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like they're repainting really pretty good. Did his dog like you? Yeah, mom, the dog liked me. It's a bad thing if he doesn't, because you know he doesn't like two people. Well, he liked me. He, he liked me a lot. I just think it's a good sign. I mean, a bad sign if he doesn't like you. Well, he did like me, okay. so what's the point of saying I don't know. Do you think the dog looks like a dachshund? Yeah, of course he does. Well, how else, what else would he look like? Yeah. He's white, though. 
Yeah, there's like thousand. Yeah, there's one on the thousand page, like two thousand. I wonder if we should get a spider and see what else. I was actually kind of thinking, why don't you just switch it up? Those spiders are very hard to find. Really? I think that would be pretty interesting seeing I what happens. I don't know how to use that. Like that's in the middle. Now you're saying we're going from the back. Yeah. No, well. And then pull it, pull it out. You know, but don't pull it out all the way. What do you mean pull it out? Just pull, go back? Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you went looking. Oh, that wasn't good. Give it on setting B. Mm -hmm. See, isn't that more gratifying? Not really, because if you go just a little C, you just go, hit it a little bit, and then it goes right back in. Like it doesn't stay. And look, I lost my stitch. Okay, then you can just repair it. Ugh. This is aggravating. I should have brought maybe the needle art. I think you should probably have brought another craft. I mean, I don't know. You can go get another craft. Maybe I should get the string on it. Maybe, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Why I'm gonna ask the chat if I should get another craft. Maybe at least a D is gonna make me some good. Let me see. Let me go see what the chat is saying. Should I go get another craft? You think I should give up on this? Who's here that's crafty? Should I give up on this? Davida? Somebody? Another craft? I, this is very aggravating. I have to just go get another craft. Do what makes you happy. That's not a good answer, Patricia. I think you're just going to Annette get says, for now, you're getting upset. So, yes, somebody said. Yes, I. Okay, you are no quitter. No, I'm not, but I'm not doing well at this. I think you need to YouTube videos. It's up to you, Carolyn, if you... You better than me, Carolyn. I'm not crafty at all. I don't know, Patricia, this is not going well. I wasn't good at punch needle. You weren't, you weren't, Karen H. Let's try to explain the daybell. Hold on a minute. Let's try to explain the daybell fallow case to your daughter. That will take hours. Yeah. You always do better after you take time away from something. That is true to that. Any craft takes practice. Yes, Nana 14, it does. Takes practice, Mom Kitchener said. Joelle said, switch to something that makes you, that you will enjoy your time more. Yeah, probably. All right, so if you're bored with it, move on for now, Carol Boyce says. Yes, take a break and go back to it. You want to work on my embroidery? No, I'll probably have to go and get my... Uh, Definitely go get another craft that makes you happy. <laughs> no, I like it. <laughs> I like your daughter, Patricia says. Oh, thank you. Very professional. Probably not until... You learn it, Teacup says. <laughs> you have the same hands, Nanette said. Oh. I don't know. I have to see what I'm going to do. I would have thrown it by now, Patricia said. Huh. Is, that crafted? is that a field of sunflowers that she stitched, Larry Ann is asking? Yeah. Yeah. It's embroidery. Yeah, it's so many French knots. I know the basics of knitting, but I found a good, what did you find a good what? Crochet teacher, and that really helped. Debbie Brad said she would have thrown it too. It's 
Beautiful. Love the sunflowers. Oh, thank you. So talented. Beautiful, Alexandra. That's her name, right? Yes. Um, just like her name. Beautiful. Thank you. I don't think one man for floss too. All the people on Floss Tube have everything so perfect. You gave yourself blisters trying to knit. Really? With my daughter and relaxing at all with, and not relaxing at all. Your daughter is super talented. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Betsy. You, it's time to move on. <laughs> Do you have an adult coloring book? No. Uh, I tried knitting at the YMCA when I was a kid. All the other kids took gymnastics. Stick to decoupage was pretty much this. All right, I'm going to go home. You're going, to, you're going to be okay along with them? Yeah. All right, she'll talk to you while I'm going to go get some things to do that I like. Um, sorry, uh, what is this lady? Punching me. No, I want this lady's name. No, I mean, she's... I, I thought sorry, she, Ollie Lou. I thought she... I really enjoyed her kit. Just not feeling it, Ollie Lou. Sorry. I'll be right back with something I enjoy. All right. See you soon. <sighs> I can take the mask off. I know it must seem really silly that I'm wearing a mask on inside of the house, but I just really, I, I would feel like the worst person in the whole wide world if I gave my parents COVID. Um, so, I mean, it's silly. And I mean, I mean, no, I mean, I obviously I support wearing masks, absolutely. Um, but I definitely know that the appearance of me wearing a mask inside the house might be silly, but I would just rather take every precaution possible um, than just like wake up one morning and just like finding out that something that could have been prevented um, you know, I just, it's not a risk that I'm certainly willing to take. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, like, I'm really I'm enjoying cross-stitching. Like, I don't know, like, I mean, I started out as a knitter. I was, I started knitting in college, my college roommate. Um, she taught me how to, and the first, and it's really funny seeing my mother so frustrated with this, um, because my first couple of knitting tries were awful. It was so, so bad. Like my, uh, my college roommate, like she, her mother was from Denmark. So she was pretty much like knitting out of the womb. And, um, and when she taught me, like, I just totally thought that it was just like something that wasn't for me. And I remember like the first like skein of yarn I ever bought was like this Lion Brand homespun, which is a perfectly fine yarn. But not a good yarn to start out with. I wish that somebody like would have just said no. Do the Karen Simply Soft, like because like that's a really nice yarn to start out with. Um, and uh, yeah, no, the Lion Brand Homespun it just gave me so many holes. It was so awful. And then I eventually found out about the Karen uh, Simply Soft, and uh, I knit like an electric green scarf. It was just all garter stitch, and I felt really really accomplished. Um, but I didn't really like in college, I didn't, I mean, pretty much all I really learned how, how to do was just like make scarves. Um, it wasn't until after grad school that I got really into knitting, um, more so cause I just needed something to do. Um, but it's, I mean, the one thing about living in uh, the city is great. There's, there's so many craft stores. Um, but unfortunately, you know, I mean with COVID and, um, and I'm the kind of person where I am just like, I mean, and again, it could pop could totally be because I'm living in New York at this time. You know, I just feel like, you know, I'd like, I'm perfectly fine with like things being shut down. I feel like as long as, uh, you know, I, I, I would just, I think, I don't know. I'm just like personally of the mind that 
I just would rather things be safe um, than just taking risks. But that's just me. You don't have to agree with that. I definitely know that there's some people who don't. Um, but yeah, no, like, but New York City has like so many great craft stores and the crafting community is like super, super tight. Um, at my, my favorite yarn shop, we have a, a, a knitting group. We used to meet like once a week, but with COVID, um, now we just meet on Zoom once a week. And, um, and now it opens back, you know, retail shopping is back open in New York. Um, like, but the yarn store that I go to, um, you have to kind of shop there by appointment. Um, which is pretty, you know, I mean, like it's, a, it is a pretty nice experience, but it is really kind of sad because, you know, like it used to be such a vibrant shop and now it's not, but again, I'm, I understand the reasoning for this. Um, but yeah, no, uh. Uh, I just basically, I didn't get into a needle point um, until uh, COVID quarantine started happening because I ended up having all this free time on my hands. Um, before COVID, it was pretty much I would go to work and um, then I would go to yoga. Um, and then, you know, obviously, you know, my boyfriend and I would go on a couple of dates. And uh, yeah, no, but like, you know, when you're cooped up in the house, um, <laughs> There's really, I mean, as much as I love knitting, I mean, now I knit like sweaters and like um, ornaments and just like, and I just knit a tank top. Um, you know, I mean, I don't know, I just was always very interested in embroidery and like this came up on, like this particular pattern came up on my Etsy. Um, like it's, it was like this starter kit. And I think like one of the reasons why I really took to embroidery um, is because it's actually really, really cheap um, compared to knitting. Like knitting, um, you know, because like now I, um, now I like, and, and you know, I'm, you know, I'm not out to, you know, everybody like knits with the yarn that they want to and stuff like that, but I just prefer knitting with wool. Um, just because I just really like, um, I don't know, it's just like, I just really like supporting local sheep. Um, and, uh, so, and I also like the, uh, the fabric qualities of wool, but again, I'm, you know, everybody's got their, you know, you know, everybody's has their preference and I'm not, yeah. And whatever wool you, you know, yarn you make with your knitting or your crochet, it's just going to look just as beautiful. Um, so, uh, yeah, goodness, I, um, yeah, no, I just was like, I mean, I got like this whole set, like I have like two other embroidery patterns um, like this, um, and it was like only 30 bucks and it came with needles and it came with like thread. Um, it's like this one seller on Etsy. Um, I can see if I can find it for you. Um, da, 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 da. let's see. Yeah, let me see. I'm just like going through my Etsy orders right now. Yeah, so it's like, it's a three pack embroidery starter kit, um, nature scenery from uh, D-I-Y-E-R club. So like, again, that's D-I-Y-E-R club. And it's great. Like I still can't believe for $24.99, like I got like a three pack of patterns and all that. Um, and uh, you know, I was like posting it on Instagram and I got one of my former sorority sisters uh, hooked on embroidery too. Um, so, and she also picked, got a, a, um, a three-piece set from a, the DI, the D, Dyer Club? I guess it's, it's really supposed to be the Dyer Club. Um, but yeah, no, so it's really cute. Like we'll text each other and kind of show each other like, each, like our progress. Um, so yeah, no, I mean, it's like, like needle points has been a lot of fun. I mean, it's like super relaxing too. I mean, obviously like we've been through God only knows for, I mean, you know, it's just like every day is like super, super rough. Um, but you know, I mean, I really got the sunflowers because of my brother, um, because, uh, like Raymond loved sunflowers and I like the, you know, the meaning behind that, you know, he was, a, you know, he, you know, was a sun sunflower. Um, so I, that's why I, I felt more gravitated towards that, um, embroidery. Um, but yeah, uh, it certainly has been a, you know, I mean, 
gosh, I mean, you know, it's just, uh, it's been a very comforting thing to do while you feel like your world's falling apart. So yay. Um, but yeah, no, I think what I really like about, I mean, I like cross stitch and embroidery just fine. Um, I mean, uh, embroidery, I kind of feel like I'm painting with thread, which is one reason why I really like it. But I like cross stitch because um, you know, it's, I feel like, you know, you have to really pay attention to it. Embroidery, I'm just like, well, you know, if I stick my, like, you know, I mean, you don't have to be super precise as to where I stick my needle, but with cross stitch, like, it looks like it's something so simple and it's totally not. Um, like you have to be so careful, like even with Ada, um, this is like supposed to be the easy cloth. Um, but still obviously just as challenging, um, cause God only knows, like, I'm, I'm certainly, you know, finding out its quirks and stuff. Um, you know, I mean, I do like the look of linen. I'm just still very unsure whether or not I want to like graduate towards it. Um, well, I mean, I definitely want to graduate towards it, but like my one friend who also does cross stitch, she thought that I could go straight from like from a 14 count Ada, which I'm currently using to a 28 count linen um and like basically like for those who don't know like i mean you know i mean i think we all know that in terms of like thread counts on bed sheets the more like thread count like the higher the thread count the softer the sheets are um because it's like a tighter weave um and you know and you know with linen um especially like embroidery linen like you know the like you know the, like like you know basically like you know like the less uh um you know, thread counts you have, um, it's looser weave. So that's why a 28 count would be easier for me to do for my first time with linen as opposed to like a 36 or a 40 count, which I'm still like, oh my gosh, how did, how did they do it? Um, but I don't know, I feel like, like my friend says like I, like I might be like confusing myself, you know, going from like a, um, you know, because to me, I thought that maybe the way to kind of progress would be a 14 count Ada, and then go into a 16 count ADA and then an 18 count ADA just to like, you know, just to have like that sort of progression um, and then maybe graduate to like an even weave sort of fabric um, and then go into linen. Um, but she says that that might confuse me. Um, so I'm not sure if it would or not. I, I kind of feel like I kind of want to do it like my way, but um, I don't know, I feel like I definitely still need some time with ADA um, like, I don't feel like I, when I, like, even though, like, I totally want to, like, start doing stuff with linen, um, I just still feel like I'm, I don't know, I feel a little nervous. And also, if I was to do something with linen, I would want a really small project first to kind of get my confidence up with it. Um, but yeah, no, I'm really, I mean, I'm really enjoying, like, all the needle arts so far. But yeah, no, like, um, when my mom was talking about the yarn people, um, usually, you know, I mean, obviously it's not happening this year, um, but she and I go to the New York Sheep and Wool Festival every October, and, you know, I mean, as much as I love the knitting community, like, some people, and, you know, I mean, again, like, you know, if that's your deal, it's your deal, like, uh, but, you know, like, some people are very, very cutthroat when it comes to certain yarn dyers, and, like, you'll be, like, at a stand, and um, next thing you know, like, like somebody is just like, like they, it's number one, it can be like, there are certain like, um, like yarn dyers who are really, really popular. And then like, the, like somebody will just like trample over you to get the yarn. And you're just like, dude, this is kind of insane right now. Um, I kind of came here to kind of relax, but you know, I mean, like, there's like we've been going to like the New York Sheep and Wool Festival since 2015. So, you know, I mean, I really did want, I mean, you know, obviously, again, like I think it was the right call to cancel. Um, but, you know, I mean, it certainly is, uh, it was, it's always a highlight of the year. So it's something that's certainly going to be missed um, this year. Um, like, I've been trying to do a good job with not buying a lot of yarn, because God only knows I certainly have, like, a huge stash. Not as bad, you know, I mean, and I don't, again, I don't want to say bad, because, again, like, if your stash makes you happy, your stash makes you happy. And, like, who am I to judge that? But for me, I live in, a, you know, a small New York City apartment, so, you know, I just, like, 
if, you know, for me to like, so when I look at my yarn stash, I'm just like, well, you know, I would have a lot more room for things if I, you know, knit with the yarn that I have instead of buying, you know, new yarn or the same thing with fabric because, you know, I'm learning how to sew garments and stuff. Um, like I would have a lot more room in my closet if I just like, you know, sewed. Um, so I, th I'm, I think like, you know, I'm tr maybe like I should probably take like, you know, I, I think like I have been doing a pretty good job of just like in terms of crafting and by, and by buying like the things that um, I need um, as opposed to the stuff I want. Uh, just because, again, like space is very, very limited, and um, and also it's just like, uh, yeah, um, I don't know. It's just uh, it's a weird time for everybody. But I don't know. I really do like the crafting, um, you know, channels on YouTube. My mom always says that I should make my own, but to tell you the truth, guys, like. I can't. <laughs> I just really don't have the patience for it. Um, I just, I, it's just like, I just, I mean, I, you know, I, I remember like a few years ago, I thought that I would do like my own like knitting channel. And I mean, I got a couple of episodes in, but just, it was, I, it was just basically like, I just hate the editing of it. And like, my mom's like super, super good at it. And like, you know, like, and that's awesome. Um, but you know, I mean, I already have a full-time job and like, I, you know, I, it's just like, there's, you know, there's, I mean, as much as it's awesome to connect to people like in that way. And, you know, I, of course I see, I like get to connect to a lot of crafters and there's some friends I've made off of the crafting YouTube channels, um, and stuff, but I just don't know if I can get into, if, if I just have like the patience to get into it on my own. It's just, uh, you know, it's just kind of like another thing, you know, it's like already enough thing to like you know update facebook or update instagram and stuff that i just don't think i can personally handle like another like thing to do um but you know if you know like I'm, I'm very appreciative to the people who do have the time for that um or make the time for that um but I mean, and also like recording with a roommate just seems like I super super weird. Oh, even like when I had like my was living with my best friends, you know, like it just like and I thought that I would be able to like yeah like and like like it was like way back when like twenty fifteen and stuff like that like um like when I thought that I was going to make like a knitting channel like even living with your best friends it just felt very very awkward for me uh to do it and it's because i find myself stammering over my words and then having to like do it again and just finding out where in the video did i mess up and yeah i just uh i like i said like my mom's super super good at that and i you know i'm really you know in awe of like what she's been able to do um but i just don't think i have the capability of doing it It is nice being home. It's kind of sad because I kind of feel like this is like the last time I'm going to be able to see my family like all year. Um, but you know, it's just the, the reality of it with, with COVID. I mean, it's just, uh, yeah, I mean, again, it really kind of sucks that I probably won't be spending the holidays with them and stuff. But you know, if it's to keep everybody safe, then you know, I would much rather you know, I mean, again, after, especially after all that we've gone through, I just feel like that's probably like the better call. I mean, if there is supposed to be a second wave of this, which I do feel like there probably will, um, but you know, it is the time we live in. The nice thing about being upstate is that the air is a lot cooler um, as opposed to Brooklyn. Um, Brooklyn is uh, crazy, crazy hot. Um, so it's just like, you know, it's just so nice to feel like brisk air. Yeah, no, like, yeah, the more I kind of think about it, like, yeah, I totally don't think I'm ready to graduate to London yet, just like, 
I really do like how Ada is just like, you see the holes, um, and it's great. Um, but yeah, no, getting up here was like super, super stressful because um, <coughs> I, uh, yeah, no, it's just like, yeah, I had to take this bus to the subway, to the train, and you're just like always on guard about like, you know, what the, what's going to be happening, and you're just like, uh, it's like, it really is like, I mean, I was talking with some colleagues today, um, I still attended a meeting today, um, even though I'm on vacation, but it was just more so because I was bored, um, so, uh, it was nice to see my colleagues today and chat with them, but I was kind of talking, and it was just like, you know, it's just like, it's such a stressful situation to be in, and you're just like, oh my gosh, um, you know, I mean, even after my brother's funeral, like, I just, like, was on pins and needles all week, um, just because, I mean, you try to social distance, but when it comes to stuff like that, you really, get, I mean, you know, who's, who's not going to hug their parents and stuff, you know, um, it's like, you know, but for a week, I was just like a worried wreck, and just kind of being like, okay, well, if no one's got symptoms yet, um, and, you know, I do have a little bit of that anxiety right now, it's just like, you know, I popped the coldies last night just to make sure that hey, everything's all good, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Again, super, super weird time. <laughs> um, but I don't know, I hope that you all have been uh, trying to find some comfort in these like crazy times. Um, you know, I, I mean, I, I, I took up gardening too. I mean, I never really um, gardened before. My brother loved to garden. Um, so I brought a couple of plants, um, you know, and thought that, I, like, all right, well, and, you know, like, that's, like, sort of the things that suck, too, because obviously, like, you know, you get into this thing, and, like, the one person you want to talk to isn't there anymore, and you're just, like, man, I think, like, that's probably, like, the worst part of grief is just, like, you know, it's just, like, what I would give to just, like, be able to be, like, yo, Ray, like, check out, like, what I've been growing, because I have a petunia and a begonia. Um, I also have, like, an impatience plant, um, a celiosa plant, and uh, some lavender, and lavender made me smile today, because my boyfriend is currently taking care of my plants, because I thought that, I mean, I'm not going to lie, like, I thought that he should. Um, <laughs> he also has his own plants, so like I knew that they would be in good hands, but uh, you know, I just like, you know, I just thought that out of all the people who are qualified to, uh, you know, I mean, I do have a roommate, I do have like, you know, neighbors, but I thought it was worth, you know, taking the Uber to his apartment to dump my plants at his place. And it was actually really cute because today, he asked me if he could have a cutting of my lavender because he liked the smell. And I was just like, you can have a cutting of my lavender any day of the week. Um, so yeah, no, it's like, even though you're apart, it's just still, you have like your super cute moments and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, we shall see. It's nice seeing the dogs again. It's, oh, it's always like amazing, like with, in terms of like, especially with Desi, like Desi's really only seen me like three times and he still like remembers me and loves me. So it, it was just like, they're just really amazing animals when it comes to just how deep they love their owners and stuff, like no matter how much time has gone by. Um, I do kind of think that they should get a Scotty. I think that would just be pretty funny to kind of see a Westie and a Scotty together. Um, And I think mom had a Scotty when she was little, so I think that, like, you know, at least we have somebody who's, like, uh, familiar with the breed. But yeah, I think that would be pretty, pretty cute. Also, I think that Sassy really needs, like, a break. Like, it's just, like, so, so sad. Like, you know, she's an old dog, and, like, uh, and, like, you know, Desi's just, like, always wanting to play with her, and he's just, like, and she's just, like, dude, like, I'm like 10 years old, like, this is not my thing. Um, so, I don't know, I think that Desi could use another puppy. I would love to get a dog, but I'd rather be in a situation where I am not living with a roommate 
Um, I think that a dog, you know, at least for me, like, I mean, obviously, I've, I definitely have, like, girlfriends who are single and stuff like that, and they have, you know, they have their own dogs and stuff, but for me, um, I just feel like I think the right time for me personally to get a dog is when I'm with, like, you know, living with a partner, um, so I just feel like it would be good just to have somebody to share the responsibility with, you know? Um, also, like, New York is super expensive to live, um, so it's just like, you know, I mean, I would like to not have a roommate, but you kind of have to, you know, do it. It's, you know, even with a roommate, um, my apartment is just like ridiculous. So, um, I'm trying to find my needle threader. I don't know where it went. Um, the odd step of these moms. Uh, so, you know, it's just like, it is what it is, but I really like living in New York. I don't think I could really live anywhere else, but I definitely understand that the city is not for everybody. I mean, it's certainly not for her. Um, oh God, no, my my like my mom is definitely a country person. Um, I'm definitely the uh, odd one out of the family when it comes to that. Uh, so, but I don't know. I just you know I, I had. When I was uh, interning in DC back in 2009, it was like my first time living in a city. Like, I mean, I, I never lived in a large city prior to that. And um, it was just like really, really, I mean, it was, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, the first week I cried. Um, I was just like, yo, this is so crazy right now. Um, Cause like, I don't know, like the largest town I had lived in was like my small college town. And, um, you know, it was just like such a shock. Um, and then, you know, I mean, like I got used to DC and then I did not want to leave. It was like the best, like, you know, eight weeks of my life. And I think like that's when I really got the city bug. Um, I just really liked having, you know, being able to walk to somewhere. Like, yeah, I, did, I just love being able to walk or bike, you know, to where I want to get to or, you know, take the train and stuff like that. And, you know, sometimes when I think about, like, how expensive rent is in the city, like, you know, I, but I think that, okay, well, I'm not paying for a car, so I guess, like, it's just the same as, you know, like, living somewhere cheaper and having a car payment. So, um, you know, I guess it all makes sense in the end. You just have to kind of look at that. Um, but, you know, I mean, there's, like, a lot of people, like, fleeing New York because of, like, COVID and stuff like that, but... I don't see myself doing that. I mean, if I, I mean, if I was, it would have already happened by now. But, um, you know, I just, I, I just, you know, it just feels, you know, I just love New York and um, I'm willing to live there and the good times and the bad. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's, I think it's also kind of fascinating to kind of live through that history, you know? Um, but yeah, no, I mean, I'll be excited back and I mean I know that I'm kind of like a pessimist about everything when it comes to COVID but like I don't know I always like to joke that in 2022 uh, but hopefully it doesn't take that long but you know, you know I just uh, I would just rather set my expectations low and then uh, be pleasantly surprised if uh, if it exceeds my expectations. I don't know like I mean as I'm getting into cross stitch and stuff like uh, I mean again like I'm still like a newbie so I still don't really know what counting means like to me I just look at the pattern and then I'm just like okay well if the pattern says I need to do this then I'll do that um so I don't know maybe like when I get into like more advanced patterns like um you know this is just like a small little pattern from like uh, modern folk embroidery um, so, you know, I mean, there's, I mean, I'm learning a lot, um, but I still don't really know what it means to count. Um, my mom knows what it means to count, but I really don't. Um, so I don't know, I just like look at the pattern and then I'm just like, okay, well, we need to sew here, we'll sew there. Um, so I think she's back now. Mom? Yeah. All right.
I'm going to put my mask back on. Phone so I can read the chat. What? You can set up your phone so we can read the oh, chat. That's, oh, that's right. I didn't realize you could do that. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to talk to you. All right. Clean this up with that baby brush. Sweater. Oh, I should shut the volume. Yeah, down. yeah, Whoops. yeah. First time I tried decoupage, I was so frustrated. It told me to be never again. One blue napkin I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the taxis can be expensive. That's why I truly try not to take them. I try to do city bikes or Subway. Definitely do city bikes, definitely more than subway now. Um, I can count the times I have been on the subway since COVID hit. Two scooter things is cross stitch. Really?
Can you go? Yeah, I'm wearing Delaware. I feel like this is like a how it's made sort of thing. A what? I keep looking at this video and I'm like, this is like a how, how it's made sort of thing. Uh oh. I can't see the font at all on your phone. Yeah, it's pretty. What? Yeah, I can see. Yeah, okay. So do you want my phone closer to you? No, I can't read a thing over there. I don't even know how to tell anything. Is there something that moves like this? What about that bird cage? No. Okay. Try stand it against that. Okay. Wow, that's so small. Okay. Dream, I hope you get not so sad now. more on the table now. Okay. Oh, you did do that? Real little, she took the display box. Sound like a criminal. I was so afraid they were going to come and get me. No. You got the Fruit Loops then? You mean you got the Fruit Loops? What if I'm on video? What, Daddy? You were playing with someone's phone? Wait a minute. Listen here, bad luck. Don't want to be a Debbie Downer. What's wrong, Patricia? You just got back from vacation. What happened to Patricia? That's a bit. Jam packed with, oh, you're jam packed with work? Tiny font here, okay. Okay, you're gonna stitch yourself. Okay, now I'm gonna start the decoupage. Um, so let me see if this is showing you this. So I'm on the delay now, so it takes me a minute. This I have to put a top coat on. This is the elephant napkin from Chris, uh, Kristen, and then this one is a little box that I'm working on. I've got to finish. It. Um, the inside has to be 
done. Outside, and I have other boxes here, and then I've got these to decoupage. And these are going to go out as gifts to people. Two scooters got hers. Moo's driving up. She's in got Niagara Falls. So she missed the turn. Um, okay. Count the cross stitch. I have no idea what that means. Counted cross stitch? Yeah, what does that mean? It means that you have to count them. Yeah, but like, but isn't it just basically you look at the pattern and you just like see where it goes? No. If you get your count wrong, then your whole thing will be wrong. But why can't you just look at a photo? Because you, how would you know how many to put across to make them the same? There used to be stamped cross stitch and county cross stitch, and county cross stitch meant you had to count how many went across each one. Well, I guess I kind of am doing county cross stitch. Of course, it is. No but I don't, so I'm just not counting. If there's no pattern, but uh, so it could be like that cardigan you made. Oh, uh, okay. I got a cardigan. I just don't think knitted cardigans are for me. I think I'm just better with sweaters. Hi, Judy. Was Judy with on? Well, I don't think I showed them my sashiko. No what? My sashiko. What is that? It's the Japanese like art of mending, but like they have templates. Art of mending? Yeah, like you just like kind of just back in the um, you know in the Edo period, like. You know the you know those who were impoverished they couldn't get new clothes so they would just like um you know get the clothes mended and it would be done with a running with decorative stitches so it would look nice okay and what is so and you have that for your mending your clothes <laughs> no i'm gonna probably frame it oh but uh, yeah. who made it uh, i got it from uh, the, my, my yarn my uh, craft store Is that really from Japan? Uh, yeah, it has Japanese writing on it. No, but I mean, somebody in Japan did it? I mean, it's from Japan. But yeah, it's great to do all your own cheese, like you're doing the, the film making. What? Oh. Uh, let's see here. It's like so simple. You can just like, just do like a running stitch. Yes, indeed, yeah, that's good. Oh, your computer doesn't like your password? Oh gosh, Patricia. Do you, um... You still want to come up and help me, don't you, huh? Throw that on your plate. Where are they? Where are who, Maggie? I have to call the help desk. Oh no. Yeah, take a break, Patricia. can't get in, in the computer for your work? Well, then maybe that's telling you something, Patricia. Maybe it's telling you to take a break. 
Lisa D is home. I told you guys that. Right? She had a physical therapy appointment. They came to the house and the nurse came to the house. and She could have been in the chat for all I know because I haven't been in the chat. How many plants did you have to leave with them? I left them five times. All herbs? Uh, no, not my petunia, my begonia, my lavender, my celulosia, and uh, my impatiens. You just have them all in pots? Mm -hmm. You couldn't just water them? What do you mean just water them? I mean, just put them in water, even though they have those glass bulbs. I, I would have rather, I, uh, there's, there's a reason why I left the plants with them. Yeah. You think your roommate will kill them? Well, I mean, I think the roommate would kill well, Yeah, I, I don't trust her. I mean, dear God, like... That <laughs> sounds good. The roommate you don't trust? Well, I mean, she's not the greatest plant take care, like, caretaker. Like, uh, also, um, I think he should take care of my plants. Oh. Dan's home sell yet? Uh, I don't think it's sold yet, Nanette. I don't know. There's been a lot of people over looking at it. It could be in contract. There's been um, a lot of action on it, a lot of people coming over. And the other day, the realtor was over, and at the end, she said to them, Congratulations. Okay, so you take that for what it is. It, it could very well be in contract. I don't know. Did you hear what he did to me? Who's Dan? Dan. Who's Dan? You know Dan. Next to Alpha Nails. Oh, they know? They know about him? Yeah, Dan, you may all know about Dan. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, but he's moving. Yeah, you know he's moving. Okay. Yeah, but he, but, um, <laughs> Jimmy, for those of you that didn't hear, Jimmy was walk, uh, driving down the road and he saw Dan walking his dog and he said, you know, Dan, whatever's between us, I really do wish you, you know, like the best. Uh -huh. And what you know what Dan did? Dan gave him the finger. Really? Yeah. And then he said, okay, Dan, he said, I thought about saying it. And then he said, okay, Dan, well, whatever, I still really do wish you the best. And then Dan gave him the finger again. Really? Yeah. And then... Then he saw Chris and Bruce walking down the road and he told them and they said, are you kidding me? And he said, no, that's what he did. What is he going to be doing? Well, I don't know, I guess he's gonna retire. I believe he was a teacher, I'm not sure. I don't know, I don't see how. I think his wife was, I don't think he was. I don't understand, what was their whole deal? Oh, they were just nasty people. They didn't, but then they made that whole big letter that didn't even belong to the association to try to get those people not to build the house. And then they found out and he got kicked out. And, uh, the whole thing is bad.
So yeah, I flipped them off. Let's see how they feel. Dan sounds like a sweet little Dan thing. Anyone that yeah, he is. Dan is I'm good. And and you have a roommate that's starting fights with the upstairs people? Let's not get into it. Okay. The hose was dripping. stuff like I, I'm the, the but I'm she saying, posted on Facebook that her altercation no she didn't post it on Facebook oh. she put, put it out to the landlord oh. who lives in Sweden well, I don't want to really say where my landlords live oh, yeah, I know people that are in Sweden Does she have a boyfriend anymore? Um, can we not talk about that? No, she has who she doesn't watch me. I don't care, like, it's okay. just, uh, yeah. You know. Just wondering. Okay. How can you post that picture of the financial district? Is that all empty? Yeah, it's all empty. It's not like that. It's not, it's not supposed to be like that. Nobody's working there? Back in the offices? Not really. Like, everybody's working from home. There's a lot of restaurants that closed down. Really? Yeah. They don't, even, they don't have to eat and stuff in the city? No. They do up here. Yeah, I know. They just don't have it down there because people are being irresponsible. Hmm. I don't, I wouldn't want to eat with them. I, like that. I think that's why I'm not very keen on that seeing dad. I mean, I want to see dad. Hmm. But. Hmm. Everybody, well, we ate in uh, Outback. And we ate at uh, Applebee's. And we ate at Cracker Barrel. Really? Uh-huh. You didn't feel afraid? I mean, they, they do do it. They don't do it and, like sit people right next to each other. And when we were in Applebee's and when we were at Eden Park, we were the only people in there. But you know, that's what they're doing up here. Michael goes out to eat all over with his girlfriend. I don't know if I can eat inside that. They go everywhere. I really don't Starting in Virginia when they went to get the dog. Really? They went to TGI Fridays and then they go everywhere up here. Like I want to see dad, but I think I need to do this after hours. Um, let's see. Who else? I can't believe Sonic closed at 9 o'clock. That was, like, freaking ridiculous. Yeah. Why would they do that at 9 o'clock? That's ridiculous. I think I might have to go to Walmart tomorrow. Walmart's now staying open till 10 on, on, on Friday in Olmsdale. And when we were in Erie, they were staying open. They were even closing on 8.30. Huh. What is your Wegmans open till? Uh, I think Wegmans is open back at, until like 9 or 10 now. Trader Joe's is open too? Yeah, and Trader Joe's is open at regular hours too. I think that's one of the reasons why like, I just I would miss Trader Joe's way too much. That's not every sandwich, they just don't have Trader Joe's everywhere. Is there Trader Joe's that's like... The same thing as Aldi. Uh, it is? It kind of is. Owned by the same company? They're owned by the same company. They're really not the same. They're really not the same. 
with the all these heavy best watermelons. Did you buy any more watermelon after the Harbor Wegmans one? Yeah, yeah, I bought I bought it at Trader Joe's. Was it good? Yeah, it was good. Okay. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. There's like an Ada fabric that feels nicer than this. An Ada fabric? Yeah, like the one with the holes. Oh. Well, what are you going to do? You're, gonna, you're not going to be rubbing it. So I, mean, I mean, I'm going to be framing it. Yeah, that's what you care what it feels like. Well, like when you're like stitching on it, like, yeah, it doesn't even have to feel nice yet. Remember that time your hands broke up from knitting? Yeah. That, that's, that still happens sometimes, though. I dove in. Yeah, so, um, what was I going to say? Uh, Golden State Killer. There were a lot of stories, so many freaking stories. Did you read it? Did you read that book? You bought that book. I you? bought the book, but it was a little too slow going for me. Was it too slow going? He showed absolutely zero emotion. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, nothing. But I, I know Robin Swan sent me something about him in his cell. I didn't see it yet, Robin Swan. So I don't know, but it's kind of weird. All right. I may have just fed the squirrel, but I did put up a squirrel. Oh, anybody that needs a squirrel fix, there's a squirrel video also on my Instagram. And that's, um, Mo what was my Instagram? Mommy Rambling? I think so. Blog. Mommy Ramblings? I don't even know what it is. I think it's Mommy Rambling. I think blog. it's just Mommy, I don't know. It's Mommy Rambling's blog. Who knows? It's linked in the bottom of every video. Um, Check it out if you want the squirrel video. You used to have a potty, right? No, we never did. Really? Grandma always, it was like, she's like, that's my favorite dog, but she never, I don't know what word was her favorite dog. She never had one. I always thought that you guys had a potty. We never had a potty. I think you I think you guys should go for a potty. It's very hard to find. Really? Yeah. I think you're a dying breed. Really? I don't know. I don't, you, I, how many people do you know that have one? I mean, I don't know a lot of people with scotties. I don't know anyone that really has one. I just think it could be really cute to have a scotty in the hospital. I think it's good because they don't show dirt. Yeah. But. Did you know there are scotties that are white? Or they're called Wheaton? Really? Yeah. 
I feel like you need to find a playful one. I think so. Well, not like, you know. Mm. Well, you know, like not like passive like Roman or sassy. Roman. I feel like you'd like your god dog. Your grand dog. Technically. Plus I sound things. Doesn't it like the dog in Two Stupid Dogs? Uh, it reminds me of that dog. Right. Two Stupid Dogs. What was he? Was he laying on the couch? Uh, no, he was just like walking. Oh. Sorry, really bad. What was his other name? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, denim, yeah. Really? Why? Yeah, I don't know why she would just call him denim. It doesn't make any sense. He looks nothing like denim. Michael's going to name his spot at first. Because he has that spot. And then he suddenly got the name Roman. Denim, Roman, Roman. I'm glad it worked out. I thought it was going to be a disaster. That's it up? Yeah. I just thought the lady had to have him for so long because, like, there was something, like, major wrong with him. Yeah, it kind of doesn't make sense why. Right? Oh, he's a biter. <laughs> I don't know what it was going to be. I thought there was going to be some huge problem with him. Yeah, you'd think it's, like, so crazy that he didn't get bought the longest time. I know. A lot of times, the only thing they said, like, this Westie they had, that's, like, the perfect specimen of a Westie. I still wish we had gotten that dog. Um, not, I mean, not, not have Desi, but, have, but he was saved to be a stud. And then, um, I don't know what happened. The lady that he was going to be for, she had ended up having her own or something. I don't know. That I can understand. I don't know if it was something like that or what. Did you watch that thing with Mark Ruffalo on HBO? No, did you? Yes, who did you? Watch it, Carolyn. It's very depressing. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, and speaking of that, Nanette, you know, Jimmy read your letter, then he started crying, so I haven't read it yet. 
Um, just so you know, I'm not like not saying any, I, I haven't been able to read it yet. I know you told me don't read it unless I'm in a, like a really good mood or something. It's very depressing, Nanette. Isn't it about his brother that's got schizophrenia or something? I was at work when I came from Doodle. Hey, Danielle C. Oh, I almost put my paintbrush in my coffee. Drinking coffee? Yeah. Why? Not too tough? No. Decaf, that's just brown water. I don't even know who buys decaf. <laughs> Do you know kombucha has a lot of caffeine? I don't know it has a lot of caffeine. It does. You know there's seltzer with added caffeine? Really? It's called AHA. Yeah. Coffee and... Oh, it's so good. Have you ever heard of AHA seltzer? No. Really? No. No. Oh, good thing. I don't these days. Do you have Christmas tree shopping set in mm -hmm. here? We do not. You don't? No. And there's still no Walmart, right? No. There's no Target. Why? I don't understand that. No, I don't know. There's Targets. Targets, yeah. Why not Walmart? I don't know. So crazy. Where do you have to go for your nearest Walmart? Uh, in Long Island, maybe? New Jersey? So crazy. I wonder what the deal is. Do you have Whole Foods? No, um, of course we have Whole Foods. I thought that was only in New Jersey. No. That was like in. You don't have an Uncle Giuseppe? No. Have you ever been to Uncle Giuseppe? No. Have you? No, I've never been there. People say it's very, very expensive. Tagline plug. Carolyn, I'm big pleasure. Yes, I am, Davida. I am big pleasure. And I am. So, what else is going on? Um, True crime wise, there's that, you know, the Sarah Turney thing. He arrested the father. You know who that is, Ellen? Nope. Oh. You know who Betty Bradwick is? I've heard of her. Oh, dear. You didn't watch that new that uh, John podcast? We don't get USA. No, it's on. It's on. Uh, how did I watch it then? I don't know. We do so get USA. I okay. don't. Oh, you have our thing. That's true. I watched it. You could easily watch it. That's embroidery strip sampler. I think I'll do this after I finish the sunflowers. What? My strip sampler. Why?
That's the sentence. Oh, yeah, Lori Laughlin got two months in jail. Oh, yeah, she did. Do you think she's really going to go to jail, though? Of course. So did Felicia the Hoffman did. Well, I mean, but that was not during COVID, though. Well, come on. They're not going to let her out of it. I mean, yeah, but I thought maybe they would do house arrest or something. Mm. She really messed up her daughter's career. Is her daughter back on YouTube? Nope. Really? I think so. And her daughter didn't even want to go to college. She didn't want to even go to college. It's so, it's so stupid. It's just like, man, like, you messed things up for your daughter. She didn't even want to go. I'm thinking that should be a fun, that should be a fun holiday time. I'm going to jail. Why would you do this? I thought you want to go to college. You're stupid. I hate you. I really can't imagine things are really good for them. And didn't the other guy lost his... He was a designer at Target, right? Yeah. And they, they dropped his line, didn't they? Yeah. I mean, so I think it was already dropped, though. Oh, really? Yeah. Gosh, how'd that work out for you? I wonder what, it, what is her daughter doing now? She had two of them, didn't you? Two daughters? Yep. Hmm. Things like so crazy. I would not go back to college if I was doing it in COVID times. You wouldn't? I, I would not want to be on campus. Those kids wouldn't be repelled back so fast. Really? I don't th how do you think this is going to go? I think a lot of them are going into college now. Yeah, but I you... see people UNC, buying stuff in the Yeah, stores. but UNC just shut down. Notre Dame just shut down. I think one, either Michigan, University of Michigan or Michigan State just shut down. Like, would you feel good about dropping me off? Uh, no, I don't know. I mean, some someone that was in our chat said they sent their kids back to school, like regular, like elementary school, and they got a letter that some kid tested positive for COVID. And she's like, here we go. We should have never sent them back. It was freaking. They said that Viper convention or something, there's like, I don't know how many cases from it already, like 20 that, cases. That was so stupid. Cases, I think. Obesity always owned her dad and got jail time. Lori and her hubby act like what they did wasn't wrong. Right. Probably get a doctor's note. No more Hallmark movies for her. Becky. Was she on that new with the reboot of the Full House? I think she was. Is that still going on? No. Nope. It's off air? I think so. Do you hear those people yelling and screaming? I don't think they're yelling and screaming. They're just talking. I think Dan might be turning this off. Oh, Mom. There was a 48 hour hours where something happened on the lake. Got 
still this way. I once heard him call her like a, a biatch or something really bad. I'm going to take a listen. How about a minute, guys? I'll be right back. I hear some screaming. It sounds like they're getting a knockdown drag out, right? I got to listen to that. So I'll be right there. I'll be right back. I like that you can kind of see. see like the like the negative space sort of like you know get more defined um I, yeah like, like i mean these are not like the full components of the design like there's some stuff that goes in the middle i mean not in the middle but you know within the x's and stuff so yeah no i, I would like to get this i don't know so go with super bar well i mean obviously i have other embroidery projects so i can't say it's so super sad that <laughs> as in what else am i going to do I got like way too much embroidery like going on right now, um, but yeah, I, I guess that that's I guess that's that's always been my biggest question, like, um, and I, I guess we, I, don't know, I guess I since this, I, we we were in seeing the chat in the beginning, but like why is like floss tube just con just like condensed to uh, just a cross stitch? Like there's just so much more you can do with embroidery. <laughs> Huh? The people over on the other side, I think they, they were bombed this afternoon, so they're really. Oh, I've got a little dolly doing party and singing. I'm going to take you outside in a little bit to see the flying squirrels. I'm going to play this. There's the one tree that they glide down. Maybe if we look at it, we can see them. It's like two regular squirrels that we have here. Oh my gosh, there was like this chipmunk. That was making this noise, and he jumped from a tree all the way on the deck, and he ran across it, mm -hmm. and oh my gosh. But the flying squirrels used to always come at night, and raccoons, mm -hmm. and we had the bird feeder there. Yeah. The raccoons were like... Can the flying squirrel ever be tamed? The flying squirrel is tamed. It's it a is? baby. Yes, it's totally tamed. Like it's not going to bite you or anything like no. that? No. It's in Jimmy's pocket. It's only it's a little baby. How long do they live? Fifteen years or so. Really? Yeah. It's very tame. Surprise, Brian! Didn't know anything about flying squirrels. Falling down on the other side. Still looks like you can. Um, uh, I'm not going to talk about that on YouTube. Okay. Well, I guess that's it. <laughs> Why did you watch me? I don't think so. <laughs> I didn't know until like I started getting some embroidery that I mean I always use embroidery floss to make friendship bracelets. Like um, friendship bracelets. Yeah, like you know that's the only time I ever really bought embroidery floss. I, I didn't never know. you making friendship bracelets. I used to make them. I think you got me a kit once. Um, it's but, like a decoupage. You said you decoupage it. Yeah, you gave me a decoupage kit for Christmas. Yeah. Um. Which, by the way, I need to go into my room to see if I can, like, get all my Sailor Moon stuff. Oh, please. Let's go. Sailor Moon. Surprised he didn't do that for me and just basically be like, hey, thanks for the hot tip. Yeah. Yes, 
she's technically blocking me. Hmm. Slide in a minute, and then as soon as I get the top of this done, because um, you're saying I can make pros problems with tripod. No, I'm gonna carry that so I do. You're gonna carry the whole entire tripod? No, I'm gonna bring the phone up so I sit on the chair. Oh, beautiful night. I don't know why I never did that before when I was here at night. Mm -hmm. I'll show you the tree that the phone is for. Sorry to all the real plus plus people. I'm I'm doing cross stitch. Oh okay. Yarn community. It's still very much a community. Was, it, was there any was there really any drama going on in the yarn community? There was a lot of drama in the yarn. Really? Yarn. Yeah. A lot about social issues. Yeah. But I mean not about like troll people don't troll. No. No, the Micah Stafford stuff, right? Tracy? That's something. And then there was, did you hear about the other one that was that eight year old passenger? What's that? And there's another uh, white couch blogger thing. And she made her kids like work. And then, I don't know, she's, and she's really pretty, like she's in her 30s. She has like eight kids or something. And she had this kid and he didn't even have a mattress or he had a mattress what? on the floor. Yeah. Are they minimalist? No, they weren't minimalist. They sent him to a boot camp and stuff, and he wasn't even a bad kid. It was really bad, and they want to take the kids away. And then her like five year old, she makes her pack her own lunch, yeah. and the teacher called and said that you know little whatever her name was, Amy, who had not Amy, but uh, forgot her lunch, and she goes, "Good, that'll teach her the next time." I told her to pack her own lunch, and I hope none of you teachers give her anything to eat. What? Yeah. And she's like, I'm not bringing her anything. She's got to learn. Aren't they? Did they get called by CPS? Well, I think did they? Yeah, I think they did. And then she like, her and her husband made this video, and they're like, oh, you know, like you know, you don't know the half of it, or something like the counselor told them to do that. I don't know. Or some crap. I don't, I don't even know what happened to them. And then she does those like stupid things. She gets on this like yoga mat. And she's like, one of the kids says, like, one of the kids did his room with lights, and the kid helped him, and he goes like this, I want to get those for my room. She goes, oh, my gosh, you just can't be happy for him. In the moment, you've got to say you wanted them for your room. That's so bad. Let's go sit on the meditation mat. And then she's like, and then the kid, it's just like so scripted, and the kid goes, yeah, well, I understand. And he said, but, Mom, he really helped me, and he only said that he wanted them for his room, and I understand what you're saying about being happy for someone, but you know, I was like, it wasn't even a whining thing. Like, oh my gosh, she was such a lunatic. I don't know what happened to her. Who is being discussed? Oh, what is being discussed? Knitting. Uh, knitting. What is being discussed is um, 
there's little, uh, I don't know, eight little passengers or something. I tried punch needle knitting and it didn't work out for me, okay? I'm doing some decoupage and then I'm going to sit outside and try to find the uh, squirrels and Alexander's doing um, cross stitch. I'm pretty much the only reason why this coral size is swap suit. When did you start that? Uh, Sunday. And how much more do you have? Um, I have to do another triangle. So I have to fill in and then I have to fill in the border. Is that your first ever? Yeah. Yeah. What? Oh no, I heard that noise. I'm trying to go through here. Yeah. How many cross stitches did you ever do? Oh my gosh, I did one when I was a kid that was like some little acorns, big oaks grow or something, and then I did, I think I did some little ones, and then I did yours and Ray's, and I think one for Michael, one of the baby ones. How'd the quilting go? Did you ever do the quilting? That's on hiatus. That's on hiatus? Why? I think that would be easier. To me, that would be easier than punch needle. I mean, I just think it's got the recipe for that. You could do that easily with a Cricut. Yeah, I was thinking about a Cricut. Yeah, Hi people. I can't really see how my glass is on so now. Did you see her going to that furniture store? So outrageously expensive, the couch was eleven thousand dollars. What was when she was with Colt? No, the one when she was with uh, Eric again. Really? Recently? Yeah, you didn't. So then you haven't seen everything. No, you haven't. But yeah, that's the only one that they had after the the shoe throwing that I had. You didn't see it? Yeah, I missed that part. And he's like, this couch, I'm telling you, it's like $4,000 or something. Like, and I you might have to Eric your TV? Yeah, and then she's like, Eric. And he's like, well, what do you want to watch? I, I want the booby job. Like that. Apparently Eric is on OnlyFans. He's what? He's on OnlyFans. What is OnlyFans? OnlyFans. What is that? Uh, well, I mean, it's this uh, adult website that, like, People go on. Only fans? Yeah, like uh, all like a lot of people from 90 Day Fiance are doing it. But what, I don't understand what it means. They, it's, it's like this uh, site, this adult website where I guess you can go softcore or hardcore and people pay for titties. You mean like a cam girl boy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eric is on there. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he has a link to it on his Instagram. Oh my gosh, and that's what, and all, and a lot others from 90 Day Fiance are on there? Like Devin, and like Kareen. Kareen is on there? Well, so no, Paul was trying to get Kareen to be on there. <gasps> he wanted her to be on there? Yeah, I mean, I guess it, I guess it makes money. Um, but he doesn't care because it's just a cam girl? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Did she go on? I don't know if she ever went on it. I know was she, she wasn't she... She wasn't upset that he said that? I don't know. Uh, 
Thanks. Who else has one? Um, Stephanie. She is. What about Darcy? I don't think Darcy does. Nicole, I would picture. No, because there's that big, you know, big girls there have that uh, witching part. There's a whole genre. No, I don't think Nicole has like the. Uh, Called food or something, or feeder or something. I don't know. There's a, a lady named Amber. You ever heard of her? No. Amber Lynn? No. I read about her. A lot of people know about her. She's a very, very large woman, and um, people do a lot of commentary about her. She tries on clothes, and then she tries on food, and she tries to get, I think, as heavy as possible. Yeah. Like that one that wanted to be 600 pounds, and like, I don't know. She didn't know her. I don't know. I can't believe they don't know about her. I don't. Amber Lynn is it? Or Amber? I just can't believe Eric is on there. I can't believe Larissa is not on there. And what about as well and his mother? His mother looks just oh like him. God. And she's so greedy. Yeah, did you, did you see when he was like, you when, want my kids to die? You know, when he was crying, yeah. and she said, and Jimmy thought that he was sending her money without her knowing, but uh, that, but didn't something, didn't she get really mad at the sister or something? Yeah, I think so. Oh, oh dear. Oh, my kids to die. But they sound exactly the same, and they have the same inflection, him and his mother. Yeah, well, I mean, they're both from Samoa. Yeah, but they both, they look the same, and they sound the same. It's crazy. And how come they're in Washington? I guess they're in Washington. I mean, if Samoa is part, of the, is part of the United States, so. But she didn't, they didn't want to go to where the measles were, right? They didn't end up going there? No. So they came to Washington? Uh, no, I think they live in Washington. Oh, it looked like they didn't live where they were. No. They had goats. That wasn't their boats. Oh, they went to a goat farm. Oh, they did? Yeah. Was the El Paso farm, like, charged to go see it? No. Can I go to the El Paso farm? <laughs> they charged $5 for food. I'd pay $5 oh, for okay. the El Paso farm. Oh, okay. I would like to go to the El Paso farm then. I can't get my own alpaca. You always say that. You don't make any commitment to anything. What? I said I, 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 I just can't get my own alpaca. You can. That would take care of it. Yeah, but I would never get to see it. No, it just would be one from it. robotic vacuum cleaner for your friend? Uh, no. Oh, you said you said you wanted a friend. Yeah, but then everything happened. Oh. I do room boundary other times. You can put eyes on it. Good. Besides, Michelle just got a new Dyson. Yeah. She got a new one. Yeah. So what does that mean to you? You use her vacuum? Yeah. She likes you? I mean, yeah. I mean, it's a house vacuum. Did you ever replace her glass? Uh, no. <laughs> There's enough glasses. Okay. That's what it is. Dyson, did she get the Corbis? The Corbis, yeah. That's so stupid. You have to push the button in order for it to run. No. You have to hold on to the button. Does she have a V8? What is it? It's like the thin one where you have to hold. Yeah, on I to had it too, and I don't remember having to do that. You, so you don't have. So so yeah, you have to hold. It's like a trigger button, right? I'm trying to remember because I have a couple of Dysons. It's the trigger button. Oh, Ray, nice. Ray had yeah. Ray had that one too. Mike Mike has it now. 
Um, he loved his back. He loved that factory so much. I'm so happy that he got that one. Um, yeah, but the VA, I don't know. I can't even remember. Well, ours is a trigger button that you only, that in order for it to work, you have to hold it down. Mm -hmm. That much of a pain? I mean, I would just like, uh, my experience with vacuums is like you turn a vacuum on and like you don't have to keep holding it. I know there's a V3. I know I have a V8. Does she have it on the wall? Uh, yeah. She mounted it all by herself? I mean, it kind of sits in the closet. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna clean this off and then I'll take you outside for the flying squirrels and talk to you. I still have to finish that. What? Do you think you're ever I don't know how I'm going to try to punch you again. I might have to uh, watch some things that I didn't uh, see. So, I don't know. I like things that are either like, precise or not precise, but not like crazy like that. Like, that was nuts. Okay, so I'll take you out of, out of here. Oh shoot, that's the wrong way to take you out. Oh, hold on. This way. Okay. Hold on, I'm back, I'm back. Okay. I'll grab this. Okay, give me coffee. I'll take you outside. What? No, I don't want the lights on. I want to see the flying squirrels. Hold on a minute. Reminds me when I was a little kid, we used to always sit outside here. And I don't know why I'm remembering that we had like a, some kind of a hibachi grill that we had a fire on. That's weird. I remember being like a little kid, wasn't it? I don't know if that's my imagination. This tree right in front of us, which maybe, let me see if you can see. I don't know if you can see the tree. That's the tree I've seen the flying squirrels come right over here. Anyway, I don't know if you can see. Maybe when your eyes get adjusted. We'll see. Why aren't you guys chatting? Okay, there you go. Hold on. Now I can see and now you don't chat anything. Right, let me see. Hold on. I'm just going to put you down from like right there because I'm trying to talk. Now let me see your chat. I can't see you chatting. Hi, Heather. I can't hear. Okay. You can't hear, Sharon? Why isn't anybody talking? Why isn't the chat working? What's going on? Mm. Are you kidding me? Can you guys talk, please? There we go. Your diamond painting, hi. You're here, hi knitting. No notification, hi Gigi. You couldn't hear at the table? Oh gosh, Julie. We need moves, lighted American fire. Well, at the end it was low. Sorry. I don't know why you, I don't know why you can't see anything out here because I can see out here. You can hear, right? You can hear the crickets and stuff. 
No, no, there is a pick. Watch. I'll show you that there is a pick. Watch. Watch. See? See my mug? Watch. We're outside, though. Do you see my mug? Okay. There is a pick. You've got a pick. We're outside. You see the railing? Good. We're sitting in the dark. You need night vision? Okay. You cannot see anything, just black outside, but here you find. Okay, just use your imagination, Danielle. I'll tell you if I see the flying squirrels, okay? There's the frogs. So, what's going on? Who watched the Golden State Killer? I'm glad I'm not blind. At first I just saw Eind on the mug and I thought it said blind. <laughs> oh my gosh. Camera's not adjusting. I don't know, Judy. I won't be out here long. I just want to sit outside right now. You can't look at him at all, Liz says. And I just want to look at the chat because I haven't looked at the chat. Like It's hard to see the chat when you're doing crafts and there's nobody there to help read it. It sucks I can't do Zoom on my phone. Like I have Zoom, but I can't invite people on my phone for some reason. It's so weird. Just think of it like campfire stories with no campfire. That's a good, yeah, excellent. I think I stepped in some shite outside. No. Oh. He was riding a motorcycle, right? He actually had a roast in the oven, too, right before he was arrested. Yeah, I missed I know. He spoke... What did he say? Because I, I came in and they said he spoke and then I didn't rewind it. I'll watch it again. But what did he say? He actually apologized? He actually apologized. Wow. Hey, Yogi. No more roast for him. His daughter and granddaughter apparently lived with him at the time. He just said he heard everyone and he said he was sorry. He's only sorry he got caught, Sharon said. Hmm. You know what? It feels warmer now than when I was on the dock, but I think it's because I was all wet when I was on the dock. It feels nice now, but I'm wearing a hoodie and long pants. He's a fake. Nothing he says matters. So I haven't watched that Robin Swan thing that she sent about him in his cell. Anybody have any marshmallows? He's just plain scary. I don't know. His niece talked that lived with them, and he treated her well. You sure it wasn't his granddaughter? I think he's getting, what happened? I think he's getting off on all these victims. It is so gross, and so many victims. I see, I see. Scooter didn't make it in here tonight. And then you saw Daybell, right? That was that was a nothing hearing, pleaded not guilty. And so December something is his uh, prelim 
hearing in, in January, but I'm sure there'll be more charges before then. Do, 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 do. And I think, um, what's her name? Doesn't what's her name, Megan Boswell, go back on the 24th? I believe she does. Was Paul, what happened? Was Paul Holes at the sentencing? I love him. I don't know. He has some nerve pleading not guilty, but I'm glad that means there will be a trial. The outdoor sounds are so calming. They are. Reminds me, oh gosh, I, I'm, I'm having flashbacks of being like three years old and there's this sabachi and I don't know how the freak I would be in front of, but, but kids were tougher <laughs> in those days, yeah? She gets burned and I don't think it was, a, I think it had one of those, like, I don't know what the heck it was for. But I remember singing something on an open fire and I remember my mother saying, listen to her singing, I think I was singing chestnuts roasting on an open fire. And it was over this hibachi thing. <laughs> and, I, and my mother got such a kick out of it. I remember that. Um, yeah. And I, but I'm trying to think, like, I remember this hibachi thing. You got burned, like, really bad on it. I don't know why we would have had it out. I mean, maybe we were lighting sparklers on it. I remember, like, that coily thing. But I guess it, back then, it's like, yeah, they'll learn. I don't know. Oh, well, look, I think the, the video was really pinched in. So maybe now you'll be able to see a little better. There, you can see my mug on the table now, right? And let's see. What is that? That is a cushion on the chair. And then the railings, look, now the railings, maybe you're gonna be able to see something, hang on. And let's see if you can see the flying squirrel tree. It's right in front of us. Nope, what, you can see? Look, the mug is right there, I can see it. It's so faint. <laughs> You've got to be kidding, right? We all know you can joke. No, I'm serious. <laughs> Are you guys kidding me? I'm, I'm really, I'm not being funny. Look. You see my mug now, right? Look, look now. Because I'm outside now, Patty. <laughs> you see it now, Danielle. If you don't, you've got to go to the eye doctor. Oh, stop it. Can you see it, White Tiger? Come on. Oh, come on. That's good, Patricia. That's exactly what it says. He only got into the Golden State Killer right before he was caught. It almost like a skull. A skull. Come on. I hope you're feeling better, Nana Patty. Now that three inches from the screen. Hi, Davy. Davy. Oh, Davida, we don't use that name. That's the name I can't stand. <laughs> no one's allowed to use that name. She's inside finishing her cross stitch or something, or I think she's actually in. She might have what? What? Oh, she's on the couch now. That's okay, David. I forgive you. Uh. 
Who do who, 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 I think you really is Carol? I don't know what you people. Hi, Karen Lynn. You just got here. I haven't seen you in a while, Karen Lynn. You slept 15 hours. Wow. It's nice to have your daughter. Uh-huh, GP. Time for a knit night, too. You'll join in? <laughs> when you see this black, you're going to crack up. It's so black. <laughs> it's good for sleeping. Can you see my hand? How many fingers am I holding? Two. I haven't slept that long since the BK before kids here. It is no street lights, I take it. No street lights. No, no, no. We don't even have traffic lights. Totally dark. Your eyes just have to adjust. That's all. Your eyes just need to adjust. Oh my goodness. I see just fine. Blacker than black. What kind, uh, what kind of wildlife? I hear a car barreling down. Where's that now? Do you ever sit outside and wonder? Look at the stars in the sky. Can you see those? Do you ever sit outside and wonder if you're going to hear your neighbors or somebody like commit a murder or something? It happens on 48 hours, right? Are you ever sitting outside thinking you might hear something like that? Hmm. To the Woodbury Commons? Yeah, I want to go to the Woodbury Commons. We have to go before, um, before October goes. When I returned uh, Jimmy's pants, that was like the last good time to go. Really, Liz. Mm. Oh, we were trying to look at the flying squirrel tree, but we, I just want to sit outside for a minute. I know, Kathy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, really, Joelle? Oh, but not murderous thoughts? Hmm. Foggy. 
That one is better than the Tannersville one. It is. It's a nice place to walk around. And if it's nice weather, like if it's not too hot. When I went, it was really nice. But I was by myself, so it was a little bit, you know, like just a little bit, not spooky. But, you know, you're all by yourself. But it'd be fun to be with others, right? I think we would have a blast with a bunch of people. Like Lisa H, Lisa D, and Nanette. And myself, and you, maybe Karen McCann, who else, maybe Scout and Choir. Um, I know I'm forgetting a lot of people. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be fun. We got a deal there, something for the face for my daughter. I went there for her birthday. Here comes the redhead set child again. I know, Davida, but you've got to move closer. Oh, and Danielle and Karen Lynn, are you, are you in the area? And who else? Two scooter. <laughs> really, sunflower? It's unhealthy. Yikes. I know it's really bad in parts of California. They have to evacuate. Oh my gosh, I'm yawning all of a sudden. I'm knitting at starting point, and I'm knitting a filigree. Totally not curious about what your daughter is working on. Allie, are you working on anything knitting? Finished a tank top and she's getting back to her sweater again. Kristen is driving to Vermont from. Oh, are you really? Gosh. Kristen, when did you go to Disney? Was it right before all of the Ickies? I can't remember when that was. Oh, yeah, Christian can go, too. I don't think you're the, too far away. I don't think you're that far away. I was right before. Vermont is supposed to be beautiful. Oh, really? You swear you're... Oh, my gosh. Redhead. I don't know how you make all that fake food, Davida. I think that would drive me insane. Oh, very good, very good, very good, Patricia. I will be on later. Later, later, later. I don't even know what time it is. Can you ask her where she got the embroidery? Yeah, I can. Where'd you get the embroidery hoop you have? Uh, Amazon. It's, a, it's like an embroidery hoop stand, so it's like easier one, and they can be separated into a 10-inch uh, hoop and a 7-inch hoop. Did you hear that? It's like an embroidery hoop stand. She got it on Amazon, and it can be separated into a 10-inch hoop and an 8-inch hoop? Uh, hoop? And a 7-inch hoop. And a 7-inch hoop. Thirty-five bucks. She thinks it was well worth it. It's by who? Morgan. Morgan. Oh my goodness! Oh, is it twelve? Okay. No wonder. If we're not all on the list. Oh my goodness. So I have to look at refrigerators on site tonight. Maybe I'll do that online with you guys. 
Would you mind if I looked at the refrigerator site online with you guys when I get out to the other house? You hear the crickets? I want to go to Walmart tomorrow and feel that would be fun. Okay. You like that? Okay. Oh, you love that stuff. Okay. How can you go on later? You said, oh, I'll be fine. No, I, I, yeah, I will. I'll go home and I'll pull up, uh, you know, because when I have the two monitors in the Streamlabs, I can do that. Right now, I'm just working here off a phone and it's, it's not, it's not easy for me right now on the phone, but I'm going to go home. And I'll pull up some refrigerators. Maybe you guys can say, oh, I have that one. I love it. Or you could say, I have that one. I hate it. I hate it. It's so bad. Um, <laughs> didn't we have too much fun the other night? Calm down. <laughs> too much fun. <laughs> we, uh, we have to buy a, a new fridge. Yep. Yippers. They're, yes. They're giving me, um, yeah, they, Sharon, they're going to replace my refrigerator. I have to wait till Monday until they give the go. Like, it's a go, but they just have to get to the appliance store that I'm getting it from and then say, let them pick out the refrigerator and then bill us. Mm -mm. I have to buy from... The place that I'm buying from has every brand available. It's a really great price. But, uh, so I'm going to pull it up. I was, I was trying to do it on my phone, on the dock... Um, I don't know, Sharon, that's what I have to find out. Any brand I want, I have to find out, because I'm saying. No, I don't have to buy the same brand. Yeah, knitting, I've heard good and horrible about, like I was saying before, good and horrible about Samsung, good and horrible about LG. You know, I think it just, whichever one you hit it at. Your LG has been good. I'll roll look when I get there. I'll pull them all up. They have. Hey, Augie. At least it's working, Augie. Your GE lasted 29 years. It's still running. Yeah, I'm just sitting outside for a few minutes. How come Scooter's not here? She must be snoozing. Your LG is good, only fixed it once in 17 years. Well, Gigi, I have a new fridge. <laughs> it's just that my new fridge is not working. What happened? You have a fatty liver. A few years on milk. What happened? Mine makes great ice and a lot of it. Mine is the big side per side. You love your LG too, Kristen said. You start, I'm afraid to get a new one. The newer models don't. I know, Sunflower, it's scary when you read some of the reviews, I'm telling you. Really? You don't want ice or water? Oh. <laughs> Unlimited, Ivy. <laughs> you make me laugh. Um... No, it's not unlimited. It's going to be um, whatever mine, the features mine has to replace that. And if I want to go anything over that, then I can on my own and add to it. I 
by Caroline. Caroline, there's a little... I sent you a link to the Instagram video of um, Rocky. Yeah, it's good. I mean, because we, you know, ours wasn't cheap. And then if we want to go anything further, we just, you know, add. But I'm going to take a look. Going to take a look. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you saw it? Okay, good. Your sister has two fridges, good for drinks, and one as a backup. And still on the same compressor and works fine. Rocky is adorable. Nicole, I'm on, but I'm gonna be ending this one going home and starting another. I know, I'm sorry I'm making you sleepy, Carolyn. I'm on the deck, Nicole. We did a floss night or a floss stitch night or a something night. We'll look for a refrigerator when I get back home. <laughs> Liz, that's great. It's still working, though. Shabita? I live like, um, it's a long way, let me tell you. It's a long freaking way. It's a long way. I'd say it's easily 300 feet away. And that is just to the bottom of the driveway, okay? Then you got the driveway to go up. It's another few hundred feet. It's a long way. And you know what? I'll tell you something. I have my car, I came down in my car, and it's parked the other way. So I've either got to go to the end of the road and turn around or go around the lake. If I go around the lake, it could take me two minutes. Okay, Sunflower Brown. You got a new LG. You want it stainless. You put your old one in your garage. Watch, you have an ice machine. The one we looked at was just water. Oh, really? We got to have an ice machine. Are you kidding me? You see my family with the ice machine, right? All right. Finish your bath, Nana. Maybe that's where Scooter is. So. Goes fast, doesn't it, Nicole? What was it because? But it was because of a power surge. I thought they all had ice now. Some of them don't, Sharon, because sometimes people um, live in an area where they don't drink their tap water and stuff, so they wouldn't use it. I don't know how they hook it up to something else, if they can hook it up to another water supply. We have great water. So we always use our um, ice. I, everything in my kitchen is stainless. The appliances are all stainless, Patricia, so I don't have to. Worry about that. Yeah, I want it to match. All right. 
I will be safe. You use a ton of ice. You know who else uses a ton of ice? Scooter. She uses a ton of freaking ice. She dropped it in her purse that night. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it that she dropped it in her purse. Yeah, we're all outside, Angie Jones, but I'm I'm gonna go home. And then I'm going to get on the other computer. And um you know, and we're going to look at refrigerators, okay? All right, I'm going to go now. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye-bye now. She dumped it in her purse. Yeah, I know. I thought she was kidding. All right, I'll see you guys in about uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Love you.